welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Leigh. I do videos on luxury, styling, and beauty. So if you're like me and you like these things, I invite you to join the family and subscribe to my channel. I will also have my Instagram link down below so you know we can stay connected in between videos. Today we'll be doing a quick review video of the Valentino Rock Stud in the Kitten Heels version. So if you guys have been on the fence with these shoes, Definitely stay until the very end and now let's get into the video. So I just wanted to get this out of the way. These are everything that came with the shoes. So of course it came in a box like this, the classic Valentino red box that is very, very sturdy and I just kind of like how this feels. And it also came with this um, travel pouch which is always, always convenient. It's a canvas material and it has this Valentino tag right here. And it also came with, um, I think this is like just a care booklet and another, I don't know what these are. Now I'm curious because I haven't really opened this. I don't know why it came with two care booklets, but yeah, probably it should come with, two, I don't know. Anyway, it came with two. I also have here extra, um, I think these are like um, rubber heel ends there. I don't know if the camera is going to focus. Anyway, there they are. You know how they look like and of course extra rock studs and I'm happy to tell you guys that I haven't had any issues with the shoes so I never needed um, these. And finally, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shoes. I am so in love with the shoes. This is actually my favorite pair even though I don't really use it as much. Um, just to let you guys know, I've had it for over a year and I think I've used this like 10 times tops. I just think these are my special shoes. I don't, I didn't get really get them so I could use them, you know, a lot. I usually just save them for special occasions. Um, we are gonna go over the details and features of the shoes first and then you know i'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of it so let's get into it so these are in the patent leather version and also in the pudre color it also comes in black in red in white those are the classic ones but they would release um seasonal colors as well but for me the pudre is just the most beautiful color of them all because I just think it's a beautiful neutral that goes well with a lot of different outfits. I've worn these mostly with dresses and skirts, but I can imagine this would also look good with jeans. I haven't tried it. These are not like my weekend shoes, but probably next time I would also um, wear these with jeans. I don't know how many studs come with each shoe, but these are very shiny. And uh, these are also in the light gold color. I'm pretty sure there is no silver version of this, but sometimes I would see like a plastic material. The heel height is about two and a half inches. And this is kind of like the sweet spot for me, like somewhere in between 2.5 and 3 inches. My shoe size is 5, so if I do get anything above um, 3 inches, it would be harder for me to walk in. Probably I would need like block heels for um, you know anything higher than that. My sister got hers in the 100 mm version. It looks really sexy, by the way. It just like really elongates your legs. <laughs> and this is nothing like that. These are very comfortable, and also this has like the extra strap. So I would say it makes for a more edgy design, and I like it. The other one is a little bit more feminine, more formal. If you're going for that then, and if you can, you know, manage to walk in 100mm heels, why not? But in my case, this is the only option for me because I don't want to have pretty shoes that I can't use. The material where the studs are embedded uh, is a little different than the patent one. This is just like the basic, kind of like lambskin, I'm not sure. It's it's kind of like the one that wrinkles easily but you know it's very soft so it kind of molds on your foot which is always always good. This part of the shoe is just beige and at the back um, as you can see I've had it resold. I tried to do this to all of my luxury shoes. Sorry for the mark but uh, it's supposed to be kind of just like this. Uh, I, I took it to my cobbler. Um, the thing that kind of just frustrated me when I did that was I, this part, I don't know if you can see, like this is the um, added sole, but this part right here is supposed to be dark brown. I felt like when he added the sole, he kind of like, I don't know, it just, the paint is just scraped off completely. 
So yeah, I kind of lost that detail. So yeah, I'm never gonna sell these shoes. It's oh, it's supposed to look like this, like this color. If you guys can see, so that color is supposed to continue um, around the shoe. But as you can see on this part where the rubber started, it's completely scraped off. So that kind of is a bummer, but it's not really a deal breaker. I do prefer that. Um, I have this so I would rate this a 9 out of 10 in terms of comfort because um, again they're still heels they're not ever going to be as comfortable as flats obviously but I've walked on these for an entire day but my feet are a little wide and so for me it's a little bit uncomfortable um, because this one is you know pointy toe I had to size up I'm normally size 5 but these are 35 and a half as you can see right there um, before I got this I actually tried it in store so I was actually surprised because my other Valentino um, the flip-flops and the sandals that I have are both size 5 and I tried on the 100 mm I'm a size 5 on those but for the kitten heels specifically I'm just I don't know why but I'm I had to get the five and a half the other one fits really snug and I think with the extra you know strap that this has my foot would be a little too restricted and so I decided to get it in the 5.5 so I do recommend that if you are trying to get this you have to try it in store first just to be sure so that is it for this video. I hope you guys found that helpful even though it was a quick one. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.